Hi everyone, Lorelei Schellist again and welcome to Amusements. I have been talking about the provocateur archetype and I thought it was time that I shared a little bit more about it. As I had mentioned before, the provocateur has a light side and a shadow side, a positive and a negative, and then they use a lot of the negative in advertising in order to create shock value. I mean, most of you will remember Madonna. Here's Madonna today, okay? She was shocking everyone back in the 80s, and today, our young Catholic girl turned pagan, otherwise known as Madonna, is real hell-bent on being a provocateur. She's challenged the church. She's got songs called Holy Water, Virgin. She says, genuflect, bless yourself, bless yourself and genuflect. Jesus loves my breasts and all kinds of stuff like this. And people love it. People eat it up. Why? Because she's different, because she's daring, because she's wild, because she takes risks. And so in, in one sense, on the positive side, she's a great role model in the sense that she can show women how to follow their dreams and step into their power and use whatever they have to their advantage. And yet, on the other side, it can be considered to their disadvantage. And uh, what I wanted to share with you in, in my fashion icon archetypes that I created, in each one of them, it shows on the front side and the back side what the, each of these archetypes are about. And what's really important to remember is that there are desires underneath these ways of being, the ways that we act out in the world. And the provocateur desires to entice, seduce, break the taboo, and to be supported and accepted for who they are versus how they look. So it's really interesting that they'll put it out there to look a certain way in order to get the attention they want, but what they really want is to be seen for who they are. The problem is we can't see them for who they are because we can't get past the shocking way that they are dressing or putting themselves out in the world. So it's a dichotomy, and that's what I mean between balancing between the light side and the dark side of these archetypes. And once we know what those are, we can find a way to balance. Does this, any of this make sense to you? The purpose of the provocateur is to challenge the judgments of the status quo and puritanical value system. Now, isn't Madonna perfectly doing that? Isn't that what she does best? to challenge the judgments of the status quo and the puritanical value system. Because even though everyone's judging her for acting this way or judging Solomon for putting those posters out there and anyone else that are advertising and putting themselves out there in shocking ways, every one of us has a bit of that inside of us. And that's the part we want to wrestle with. That's the part we want to come to peace with to accept that, yeah, sometimes we can be provocateurs too. So my question for you today is, what kind of provocateur are you? How do you provoke people? How do you provoke attention? And just think about it. And I'd love to hear your comments. Thank you for watching Amusements. And don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a blessed day.